what's up YouTube Jeremiah Hersey here welcome back to the next PL 300 test prep question today we're going to be looking at some sales data and some transformations that might need to occur in order to analyze that data in a certain way so in several videos we've talked about the transformation functions how to perform transformations. So today we're gonna to be looking at two specific transformations. The transpose function, which once again takes your rows and turns them into columns, or your columns into rows. We're also gonna talk about the unpivoting of data. And so as we start off this video, we're gonna be looking at the Power Query Editor. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we are in the Power Query Editor and we have some sales data. So we have the associated month, the month number, and we have some sales data from 2021 through 2023. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about is when we're analyzing data, when we're going to be using it in a slicer, and a slicer is a visual report filter. Now, in order to use a slicer, you want to make sure that you have the information within one column. And so when we're creating this setup for our sales, it's best to look at the information in a specific order. So as we can see here for January, we have January, which is the first month, and then we have three separate columns here with years inside of it. And so the idea that we want to analyze 2021 through 2023, we need to have all of the sales data within one column. And so as it presents itself currently, we have it in three different columns for our sales data. So ideally what we want to do is we want to combine all of the sales data into a single column. Now if we wanted to use a slicer such as the year, we have to have it in one column. So in order to use a slicer for the year, it has to be in one column. So currently we have three different columns for each year, 2021, 2022, and 2023. So if we were going to use the year in a slicer, they have to be in one column that allows us to filter the data down. Currently, it's not set up that way. And so the first thing that we're gonna look at is a transpose function. So once again, if I go to the transform tab here at the top, and I select transpose, what that does is it turns the columns into rows and the rows into columns. So I'm gonna go ahead and click transpose here. What you'll notice is that it now flips my data. I have my first row now in every single column, January, February, March, April, and this is not ideal for what we're trying to accomplish. We wanna to try to get all of the years into a single column so that we can use it as a slicer. And so we're gonna go ahead and remove that step and we can remove that step by simply clicking the X over here on the right in the applied step section to bring our data back to its original position. So the question then becomes, how do we change our data or manipulate our data so that we can get the years 2021, 2022, and 2023 into a single column. In order to do that, I wanna kind of point out the way this data is set up. So currently, we have our months and our month number in a column. This is exactly how we want it. So we have all the month name or abbreviated month names and the month numbers into a single column. This is correct. We don't want to change the way that this is set up because if we want to filter down to March or we want to filter to September, they have to be in the same column. So this is correct. The problem occurs when we have 
our data that we want to change. So notice the columns at the top have the different years associated to them. So anytime that your data is set up in this way where we have information that is correctly identified in a single column, but our data is separated into years or categories at the top, such as the years here in the blue, and then our data is here in the green. So anytime you have this setup, you want to think unpivot. And so we want to essentially take this data and turn it into a single column. So all of this sales data is going to be a single column and it's going to take the column headers at the top, so 2021, 2022 and 2023 and turn them into a single column that can be used in a slicer for filtering purposes. So in order to do this, what we have to do is select the columns that we do not want to change, which will be the month and the month number. So I'm going to do that by selecting month, holding down the control key and selecting month number. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose to unpivot the other columns. So unpivoting means that I'm going to change the column headers and I'm going to combine all of the data that's underneath that into a single column. So that's what we're going to select here is we're going to unpivot the other columns. We're going to keep month and month number the same and we're going to unpivot everything else. And what you're going to see is it now changes our data to where we have the month name still in a single column, exactly what we want, the month number still in a single column, but now this attribute column, which comes from the column headers, is now put into a single column, which will allow us to filter using a slicer based on the year. And so we can see that we have our years 2021, 2022, and 2023 and we have the associated value or sales for that year. So as we filter down to 2021, if we want to look specifically at that, it would choose all of the rows that have 2021 in it and the associated sales to that particular year. Additionally, we could also filter based on month as well. So we could say, 2021 and February and that would give us the specific sale for 2021 in February which is 367. So in order to use a slicer you have to have a single column with a combined list of all of the attributes that you want to use for that slicer. And so here we can change this to the year column and we'll change this to sales. All right, now that our data is loaded, we can look on the right hand side. We can see that we have our table with year, sales, month, and month number, and we can now use that in a visual. So I'm just gonna drop in a table here, and I'm gonna drop in the sales column here. and. So our sum of sales here is 908,528. So the whole point of this is so that we can filter based upon a specific year or a month. So I'm gonna grab a slicer visual and I'm gonna drop the year column into that slicer. Notice now, because the year was in a single column, I can now select 2022 and that would give me the sum of sales for 2022 or 2023. I can also create another slicer with the month name here. So notice that I have all of my months here and so I can select a particular month. So if I select August here, this gives me sales for August in 2021 and 2022 both have sales for August. Now notice that 
the months are in alphabetical order. So one thing that you can do to fix this is select the month name. If you select the month name, column tools appear and you'll see this sort by column. And this is typical when you're dealing with names of months. It's gonna put them in alphabetical order, but I can tell it to sort by the month number and this will put it in the correct order January through December as we typically would C. So notice that now that I've sorted the month name by the month number, it's now in the correct order. We know that we had sales for January on all three years. So if I select January, you're going to see 2023 now appear in the year slicer because there was data associated to it. So let's go ahead and take a look at our test prep question. You receive annual sales data that must be included in Power BI reports. From the Power Query Editor, you connect to Microsoft Excel showing the following exhibit. We see the month, the month number, and the associated years 2019 through 2021, and the sales data associated to that. It says you need to create a report that meets the following requirements. Visualize sales over a period of time of years and months add a slicer for the month and add a slicer for the year. Which three actions should you perform in sequence? So as always, let's take a look at some of the important pieces of information here. First and foremost, we need to recognize that month and month number is in a single column and is correct the way that we expect to see it. We also see this familiar setup where the years are in the headers of the other columns. Now all of the data for sales are in this area. So once again when you see this setup, when you have multiple columns that have data, we have to think about how are we going to filter our report. Well the requirements down here say that we need to have a slicer for the month. Well we already have the month in a single column. So this is already done. If we just load this report into the Power BI desktop, we're gonna be able to use the slicer for the month because it's already in a single column. But this other requirement that we need to have a slicer for the year, if we don't have a single column with a list of our years, we are not going to be able to create a slicer for the years. It's not going to work. So we need to be able to get all of our years into a single column. So if we look down here at the bottom, we need to follow a sequence of events. All right, so it says we have to perform this in a sequence. So as we look at our options here, it says select the month and month number columns, select unpivot other columns, rename attribute column as year and value column as sales, select the 2019, 2020, and 21 columns, and select transpose. So as we think about this, we have an understanding of what the transpose function does. Well, if we select the transpose function, it's gonna turn our columns into rows and rows into columns, essentially giving us more columns than we need, and it doesn't put our years into a single column. So this is not going to be an option for us to use because it's not going to put the data in a way that we can create that slicer for a year, which is the requirements. We recognize that month and month number are columns that are created the way that we want them to. It's a set of values in a single column that will allow us to filter based on the month or the month number. So as we saw in the example, the first thing that we want to do is select the month and month number column. So this is going to be our first option here, select the month and month number columns because they are correct in the way that they're displaying data. Then we want to unpivot our other columns. So that's gonna take the year headers, 2019, 2020, and 2021, and put them into a single column named attribute. And so step number two, 
would be to select the unpivot other column. So we first have to select month and month number because we don't want to change it. And then we can unpivot our other columns. Then we're going to have month, month number, attribute, and value. The attribute column is going to host a list of our years. And so we can see the third option here, rename the attribute column to year and the value column to sales. This would be the correct third action to perform in order to create our data the way that we want to and to be able to use a slicer for the year. I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.